Prayer is important because it helps us to stay close to God. When we pray, we are opening up our hearts to Him and He is able to work in us and through us. Prayer also helps us to grow in our relationship with God. Dear God, the only source of healing and hope and the one fountain of peace, look down in pity and mercy on your many children who are facing adversity and afflicted by the miseries that this world system is imposing. Provide for the needs for all those that are called by your name who are facing financial hardships and health problems. Enrich them with your heavenly hope, nourish them with all your goodness and bring each of them safely into their promised home. In Jesus' name I pray. It is written in the Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. With every prayer and request, pray at all times in the Spirit, and stay alert in this, with all perseverance and intercession for all the saints. Amen. Dear Lord, I know that you are a God who heals all manner of sickness and illness through the power of your Holy Spirit. I ask that by his power, you would send healing and wholeness to all who are afflicted at this time with illnesses and diseases. Send comfort and strength at this time of difficulty. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Heavenly Father, please look down with compassion on my friend who has been confined to a bed of sickness and is in such great physical pain. Send comfort and healing I pray, and in your gracious kindness, please strengthen and heal whatever the problem is that has caused this illness in their body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I know that my times are in your hands and I also believe that you care about everything in my life. In your sovereignty, you are not surprised by anything that happens to any of your children. I believe that you make all things work together for the good of us that love you. I believe that you care for each one of us with a perfect and holy love. I come to you today because my health has been deteriorating with some ailment that has not been diagnosed. I am not sure what to do, but I know that you understand everything about me. I believe that you know exactly what I need to bring me back to full health and strength and I am trusting you in this time of illness in my life. Please God, I ask for your healing touch on my life, and pray that you would bring to my attention the treatment that is best suited for my condition. Please direct me in the way that I should go at this difficult time in my life. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name I pray. There is written in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed, save me, and I will be saved, for you are my praise. Amen. Heavenly Father, look down in pity and mercy on all that are suffering with the illness of dementia. Father. We know that although our loved ones may not recognize the family and friends who love them dearly, your Holy Spirit can commune with their human spirit in a unique and godly way, which must be very precious to your heart. Thank you, Father, that in the power of your Holy Spirit, you can touch the heart of those that have lost the memories of those that are their nearest and dearest. Father. I ask your protection on those that are suffering with this debilitating mental disease and pray that you will minister to the emotional and spiritual needs of those we love, with all forms of this mental illness. Comfort those that feel excluded from a loved one with dementia, in the knowledge that your grace is sufficient. In Jesus' name. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, you were the one who healed all manner of sickness and diseases when you walked on the shores of Galilee. I come to you today to ask for your healing touch in every area of my life, for I am weary in body, mind and spirit. My health is failing and I am not even sure what is wrong with me, except that I need your touch on my life more than I have ever needed before. Strengthen me in spirit. I pray that you renew my heart with your healing touch and refresh me in body, soul and spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Loving Father, I know that you often halt us in our tracks and remove us from the business of life, through an illness or a time of ill health. 
so that we are forced take our eyes off the hurly-burly of life and lie on an enforced bed of sickness, in order to rediscover what are our true priorities are in life. Father, I know that I have not spent quality time with you, as I have allowed the daily duties of life and less important issues to crowd out my special time alone in your presence. Forgive me, I pray. I want to use this time of ill health as an opportunity to get closer to you. Lead me and guide me in this time of illness, and may it become a time of spiritual as well as a period of physical rest. Heal me Father I pray, not only in my body but also in my relationship with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a humble and contrite heart, seeking your forgiveness for the sins I have committed. I acknowledge that I have fallen short of your perfect standards, and I recognize the need for your mercy and grace. Please forgive me, O Lord, for the times when I have acted in ways that are contrary to your will. Forgive me for the unkind words I have spoken, the hurtful actions I have taken, and the thoughts and intentions that were not aligned with your love. Wash away the guilt and shame that weigh heavy on my soul, and restore me to a place of righteousness in your sight. I thank you, dear Lord, for the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ, whose death on the cross paid the price for my sins. I accept the gift of salvation and redemption that he offers, and I ask for the cleansing power of his blood to wash over me, purifying me from all unrighteousness. Help me, Lord, to learn from my mistakes and to walk in your ways. Grant me strength to resist temptation and to live a life that brings glory to your name. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, that I may be guided by your wisdom and empowered to love others as you have loved me. I commit to turning away from my sinful ways and seeking to live a life of obedience and righteousness. Help me to extend the same forgiveness and grace to others that you have shown me. May my life be a testimony to your transformative power and a reflection of your love and mercy. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube video. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to our channel to stay updated with our latest uploads. We have more exciting videos coming your way, and we can't wait to share them with you. God bless.